This is the first episode of my YouTube channel Wine Fiction, where I will publish my videos about wine culture. And maybe it would not get any better than this. In this very first episode, I will be talking about Star Wine List, a unique, well-made guide for wine restaurants. Shortly, the places which will satisfy a wine lover. I think that's a great idea. Country by country, city by city, you can find maps, information about those locations, and articles by top professionals in the business, such as Soren Polonius, Pas Levinson, Arvid Rosengren, and many more. Last March, I was watching the best sommelier of Sweden competition at Noro Latin in Stockholm. It was such a great organization with such an uplifting competition feeling. I wish all sommelier competitions were like that. This is Emma on the stage, and her husband Eric is super excited. And Ellen Franzen won the title of the best sommelier in 2019. Hi Ellen! How are you doing my friend? Congratulations again! There, I had the chance to sit down together with Christer Bankston, the founder of Star Wine List, and we discussed how he came up with the idea of that website at the very first place. Well, now let's ask him a couple of questions. Alright, Lisa, how did you come up with the idea of uh, Star Wine List? Well, you know, my background is in wine and media, uh, and I've started a few companies and uh, had this idea that there are so many restaurants guides in the world, but when you're a wine lover and you travel somewhere, you ask your friends on Facebook, hey, I'm going to Helsinki, where can I drink good wine? So I thought there's got to be there's got to be space to try and build something for wine lovers to find great wine bars and, uh, and restaurants with good wine selections. So are you planning like, are you, are you, are you talking about something like a Michelin guide? for wine? Um, not exactly, uh, you know, we, we don't work the same way, we're, uh, we're trying to guide people to great wine bars and restaurants, so it's all the way from, you know, a small natural wine bar to a Michelin star restaurant, and we want to uh, guide people to nice places uh, that are focused on wine, and uh, we do the selection ourselves or with our network, uh, so in that way we work similarly, but uh, we don't give out any, uh, you know, different stars or things like that. So where do you see Star Wine List in five years? Uh, that's a good question. We started less than two years ago, so uh, now we're covering some uh, nice places and soon uh, hopefully we'll be in a uh, place like Helsinki. Uh, but in a few years, no, hopefully we can be in a lot of places where you travel and you want to find good places to drink wine, whether it's big city, small towns, wine regions. So uh, we'll see how far we can uh, reach. How often do you travel yourself to the cities that you choose? I travel quite a lot, but it's mostly to find uh, ambassadors and local contacts who can uh, show us their cities. Uh, we think it's important to have people with local knowledge and up-to-date and can tell us when places are opening and closing so we can be you know, very much live in, in those cities. So I don't go to as many wine bars and restaurants as I would like, but... Uh, uh, yeah, with the, with the people we work with, I do. So when you get a restaurant in your list or a wine bar, do you ever require something? We require that uh, if they have a wine list, we like to have it because we want to show the wine list of the venues and people love that. Uh, but otherwise, no, uh, it doesn't cost any money to be listed by Star Wines because we want to be uh, you know, a free choice to pick the places where you think are really good. Can you please uh, explain the features that we can get when we go to starwinelist.com? Um, first of all, uh, you can find guides to great places, like we have Nina Jensen's top five in Copenhagen, Arvid Rusingri's uh, favorites in New York. 
but we also show the wine lists of these places we go to. So when you're going to a nice restaurant, for instance in Stockholm, you can check out the list before you go. And since we have the list, you can also search for wines. Maybe you've read about a wine, cannot find it in shops, and you can search for them to see, oh, well, there I can find them in restaurants and wine bars. So that's, that's something people like a lot. So how do you keep up to date with all the restaurants and bars closing and opening all the time? We usually work with someone who's local, who knows uh, the city and the places, especially in the cities where things happen quickly, like London. It's impossible to keep track of London if you're not there. So someone there is an ambassador and uh, knows what's happening. And uh, yeah, that's, what he, uh, that's important too, to have the local presence. London sounds like you need more than one person. Um, no, you have to have someone who's well connected and knows a lot of people uh, because it's a huge, huge uh, city. It's like a country, right? Uh, but uh, no, you, if you're interested in and uh, have connections, you can keep track of it. What other cities in your mind? Uh, actually, uh, right now we're working on Helsinki and Paris, which is a huge uh, project. And then, um, yeah, then we'll see. You know, sign up to the newsletter on the site, and we'll let you know.